Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rossi and today I'm doing my final Halloween look, Jack Skellington. I'm gonna jump right in and start with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and apply it all over my face, neck, and chest because I will be painting on the clothes. I'm using Elmer's glue stick for my eyebrows. Setting my eyebrows with the Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. Using this NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil in Baby Blue, I'm sketching out the hollows of the eyes. I'm using this pencil because it's the lightest one and the thinnest one I have. I was going to use the Jumbo Eye Pencil like always, but the tip was too fat. I will also start sketching out the neck and his suit. This won't be precise, but I will be fixing it in a bit when I go in with white. Using the Wet n Wild White Paint Pot, I'm using a small brush to paint around the eye sockets. Again, this won't be perfect, but since it'll be filled in with black, I can fix it later. I will be applying more white paint all over my face, neck, and chest, and blend out with a beauty sponge. With the Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil, I'm outlining the eye sockets and this is where I start fixing it and making it more shapely. I'm using this photo as reference for this part and the face in general. Using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, I'm setting everything. Going into the BH Cosmetics 88 Matte Color Eyeshadow Palette, I'm dipping into this gray shade and using that to contour the face a bit to create some shadows so it doesn't look so flat. With the Wet n Wild Black Paint Pot, I'm using a small angled brush and outlining the eye sockets as precisely as I can. Then I'll fill them in. Using the NYX Primal Colors Pressed Pigments in Hot Black, I will be setting the black paint and this will also make it look darker and more matte. Then with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, I'm tight lining so the skin doesn't show through. With the black paint, I'm outlining the neck and chest as well as the suit. I am using both the white paint and the jumbo eye pencil in milk to further outline the lines in his suit. I'll fill in the space with black paint so you get the illusion that I have a smaller, thinner neck and I will also be setting the paint with the NYX Prima Colors in hot black. I'm also filling in the stripes on his suit with the black paint. This won't be perfect and it was also pretty hard so I'm just doing a rough filling in and we'll go back in with a smaller brush to get the lines more precise. I will be skipping the rest of this part to preserve some battery life and because it's extremely tedious. To round out the face, I'm applying some black paint to my forehead and chin. Here I'm setting the black paint and as you can see the lines on his suit don't look completely white and I did that on purpose. So it can seem like there are shadows 
I know it's not perfect, but bear with me. This is my first time doing a look like this. Lining the mouth and the stitches with the same black paint and I'm also drawing a few lines under the eye sockets and drawing on the eyebrows. I'm blending out those lines to create shadows and the look is practically finished. Thanks so much for watching my video you guys, making this Halloween series was so much fun and I learned a few things. Be sure to watch my other videos if you haven't yet or if you simply want ideas for a Halloween costume. I will be taking a short break from blogging and YouTube because this series was very time consuming but I will be back in a week or two. Check out my blog if you still haven't, link is down below. And again, thank you all for watching and supporting me and my videos. I'll see you guys either on the blog or on my next video. Happy Halloween. Bye.